So, good afternoon. I wanted to check in here since we haven't made a video in a few days. I'm actually going here to Longhorn. Let me see a zoom in here for lunch. It is about 11.30. And as you can see, our temperature out here is right around 97 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, which is in the lower 30 degrees celsius range and we are expecting temperatures well over 100 degrees today and you can see i have a slight vibration in my engine when we're at idle and i'm going to show you something when i turn on the uh, air conditioning which is working fine it's coming in now and remember, we have no vacuum leak and we have no issues with the uh, uh, with the fuel distribution system since we have fixed all of the stuff. And you can see it, it gets a little bit more, but now when I put the car in D, now we can see we have a pretty good shaking in it. And I had the, if you have watched my videos, then you know that I fixed my speedometer, the counter, I think it was middle to the end of December 2020 when the car had 340,403 miles on it. So I'm like 50, 150 miles short of exactly 13,000 miles since I fixed my speedometer here. The chain we replaced in June of 2021, so about six months later. And in January, in the beginning of January 2021, I did the big overhaul for all the vacuum leaks in the engine. But I didn't do the uh, Woodruff keys. And I pulled in the new timing chain because the Fabi tensioner they had put in some time ago, maybe five, six, seven years ago, failed and that is now a Mercedes-Benz chain tensioner with a Mercedes-Benz uh, uh, timing chain uh, in there which I believe is a swag if I'm not mistaken um, the original one and that is all working fine but the timing uh, error was not corrected because I couldn't get the Woodruff key out and I did not uh, replace the thrust washers which they call them which are in essence are shims. And I didn't check the valve springs and I did not change the um, sealers, the valve stem seals. And this is what we're gonna do next weekend, or that's what the plan is, over at uh, Clay's house. I'm gonna drive over there Friday night and I'm gonna spend the night over there um, at his house or over the hotel bedroom. And then we're gonna fix this early Saturday morning. And I came out here to pick up a tent on, uh, where am I, Lenexa. I'm in Lenexa, Kansas. So I'm going for this here. Um, in the manual, it will tell us of what we need to do, how we need to do it. And we're gonna do it pretty much by the book. So we're gonna explain this on how this is tested out for what kind of a Woodruff key we will need. I will make next week, probably by the middle of next week, the introduction video where I'm going to show all the tools I've gathered for this and all the parts, which weren't really that many, what we need for this. And then we can get this car uh, back situated. In the timing chain adjustment, or timing adjustment for chain sprockets with a Woodruff keys in the manual, which is 15. I think it is chapter or group 15, if I'm not mistaken, in, in 213, document 213 or 215. It will tell us in there that when you put a new chain in, you have to offset the timing degrees by two degrees. And that Woodruff key has to come out after 20,000 miles. Of course, I didn't do this, but the chains will lengthen about one to two degrees for every 20,000 kilometers. And that is about 12,300 miles. And that is exactly pretty much what I got now with the timing chain I got on there, which I put in there. So this timing chain has probably lengthened by about two degrees. 
I opened up the valve covers the other day in the timing chain. There's no slack, it is under full tension. So all of this is working well. The other thing is what I have been finding out here in these very high temperatures. You can see the uh, outside temperature now has climbed up to 115, which is well over 40 degrees Celsius. Um, and my water temperature has also come up a little bit. Um, these are Middle Eastern temperatures and these would require the engines to be operated like they do in the Middle East with the oversized uh, coolers. Um, uh, what do you call them? The, uh, yeah, the, uh, my God, now I forgot it. Not the cooler, the, uh, I can't remember the word, uh, radiators, oversized radiators, sorry. An oversized radiator in engine oil, which uh, is run in Middle Eastern temperatures. Here we normally use 20 weight 40 and 20 weight 50 at those temperatures um, when it gets that hot. And that's what I had in in 2021. But unfortunately, uh, they don't have 20, 20, uh, now Pens oil doesn't have 20 weight 40 or 20 weight 50, they may have. Uh, but this is too late in the end of the season. Next year, I will switch the car out in the end of May to 20 weight 50. Um, if that is going to get as hot as this year has been, where we have quite a few days where we're in the upper 30 degrees Celsius range to the lower 40 degrees Celsius range. So, and I'm going to go and eat lunch. You will get the first tutorial on the timing chain timing with Woodwolf offset keys next week. And then we're going to document the whole thing while I'm out there with clay fixing this. And we're going to show you exactly how this is measured out, how you calculate this out, which camshaft has to be offset by how many degrees, how that works with the Mercedes-Benz offset keys. They have the Woodwolf offset keys. And you will be in a, fine, in a good shape. And with that, have a great weekend.